everyone. Today we are continuing our Mach 4 basic series and talking about tool offsets. Tool offsets allow you to compensate for different tool lengths without adjusting your G-code. These values are calculated against a master tool that you choose. Before we get started, there are a few prerequisites you must meet in order to use tool offsets effectively. First, you'll need to have a reliable and accurate homing procedure. Homing and soft limits are discussed more thoroughly in that video. For now, just understand that you need to home your machine before setting up tool offsets. You'll also need to set up a master tool. That is the tool that all your other tool lengths will be compared against. Your master tool will have a length offset of zero and will typically be designated as tool number one in your tool table. Last, you'll want to choose a surface in the z-plane for obtaining tool length offsets. This could be the top of the stock in a work coordinate system, a digital touch plate, or a known preset tool length. To begin this demonstration, we're going to home the machine. This establishes our machine coordinates and gives us a nice clean slate to start with. Once that's done, we can move over to where we'll be working today and set up our master tool. Now we can establish our z-plane at the top of our stock using our master tool. Jog your z-axis down carefully here so you don't damage your surface or your tool. As you can see, I started jogging in continuous mode and then switched to incremental, which gives me more control as I approach the top of the stock. The recommended method here is to use a shim. Ours has a thickness of one thousandth. Shout out to Rob here for all his help and being the hands of this video. Once I've jogged down just enough that the shim can't move beneath the tool, I can set my gauge block height. In this case, it's the thickness of the shim. Now we just need to click Set Z to establish the Z plane in our G54 work offset. Notice the DRO changes to reflect that we're currently at the one thousandth position above our work surface. That's all we need to do to set up the master tool, so we can switch to tool number two and find its offset. Once the tool is in place, we need to equip it and then turn on its height offset. This is accomplished using MDI commands. T2 M6 changes the tool and G43 H2 turns on its height offset. Now you can see these changes reflected in the tool information box over here. Back on the offsets tab, you also have the option to toggle the offset without changing the tool using this button. Next, we're going to jog down to the work surface very carefully and use the shim to determine when we're in position. Then we enter in our gauge block height in the tool offset box here and click set tool. The DRO on the left changes automatically and we can use the toggle button again to see the difference between using the offset and not using the offset. You can also open the tool table by going to view tool table or clicking the tool table button to view your offsets. Remember tool number one is our master tool and doesn't have a length offset. The value you're seeing for tool number two is the difference between its length and the length of our master tool. It is 0.5438 inches longer than the master tool. Let's set up a tool offset for one more tool so you get really familiar with the process. Once the tool is changed, we need to once again equip it and turn on its offset using MDI. Then we can jog down to the work surface and use our shim to get into position. If this is starting to seem repetitive, it's because it is. You'll be using these same steps whether you're setting up two tools or 99 tools. Now click set tool to set your offset for tool number three and you can toggle to see the changes. Now when we open the tool table, you'll notice tool number three has a negative offset. That is because tool number three is shorter than our master tool. 0.2727 inches shorter to be exact. Now let's review. When setting any offsets, whether they are work offsets or tool offsets, you need to home your machine first. Not only do you need to home your machine, but you need to home it reliably. If you're homing in place, you have to come up with a system that allows you to home in the same spot consistently you have to set up a master tool in order to use tool offsets. Your master tool is the one all others will be compared against and it's usually tool number one. The master tool will have an offset of zero. Last, you need to establish your z-plane using the top of your stock, a digital touch plate, or known preset tool length. Stay safe, be creative, and as always, happy CNCing!